Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a low poly asset pack perfect for simulator maps in roughly five minutes. This is um, what I'm going to be making. Um, really simple but effective for simulator maps and stuff like that. So, yeah, stay tuned, watch the whole video to see how I make my asset packs in under five minutes for stuff like simulator maps. Okay, so let's get started. Now the, my keys are going to be on the bottom right here, so if I don't explain something, just rewind the video and look down here. Okay, so to start off we want to make some trees, so I'm going to delete the uh, the default cube, and I'm going to add mesh cylinder, and we want it low poly, so I'm going to go for 7 vertices. And then I'm going to lock into x axis view, and I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to select the top face. I'm going to bring it up a little bit and then resize it down and then I'm going to add two loop cuts by pressing Control R and then I'm going to size them down just add a little bit of detail or a little bit of a, a curve there and now I'm going to add the leaves so to do that I'm going to add a cylinder again I'm going to go with same amount of vertices and I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to make the uh, top part of the leaves really small and then I'm going to press I to inset and then bring it in extrude up and then scale down now to add a little bit of detail I'm just going to go ahead and um, extrude these bits here so I'm going to lock into the x-axis view again extrude and then resize and then I'm going to press control B actually now that doesn't look that great I'm going to select the top edges here and then press control B there there you go we kind of had looks a bit of a traffic cone but you know it'll do so it's, it's for a simulator basically ain't it so okay so as I go down I'm gonna expand it outwards like so I'm going to bring it down a little bit just to add a variation of size. So this is a basic of a tree and now let's add one more variety of it. So I'm going to add more loop cuts onto the actual tree like so just so I can bend it and I'm going to copy this, move it to the side and I'm probably going to need to add loop cuts here on the leaves as well like so and probably on the inside now I'm going to select the top face of the leaves here I'm going to enable smooth select and then I'm going to press R and X to rotate on the X axis and I'm going to zoom out just to get a curve on there so that's the um, the trees done so I'm gonna move them aside now I'm gonna make a, a rock so to do that I'm gonna add mesh iposphere I'm gonna go into edit mode I'm going to delete the bottom faces like so and then I'm just going to enable smooth select zoom it in a little bit and then kind of just create a little bit of a variation here so that's a standard rock done I'm gonna make another one just so there's more variation like so so that's the rocks done now I'm gonna make a mushroom so to do that I'm gonna add another cylinder I'm gonna go six vertices like so and then I'm gonna as it goes up it's gonna get smaller and then I'm gonna control B here just to create a little bit of a indent and now I'm going to add another cylinder for the top like so and then I'm just going to extrude upwards a little bit and go in 
like so. And then I can just attach it there and that's the mushroom pretty much done. Now next thing would be a fountain so I'm going to add mesh, cylinder, I'm going to go for 8 and then I'm going to quickly resize it like so and then I'm just going to inset it, bring it in, extrude again and then just bring it up here insert it like so and that's pretty much a quick asset pack done really simple really fast in roughly around five minutes this is kind of basically all you need for like a simulator map so um I recommend taking on like simulator map commissions and stuff like that because these asset packs literally take five minutes to make. I mean, these don't look great, but it's obviously I rushed them as well as you know the simulator maps kind of have low standards, so these are kind of like perfect packs for uh, um, simulator maps. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.